Hello, everybody. My name is Jimmy Smith, and welcome to my Wine with Jimmy channel here on the world of YouTube. Now, we are a wine educational channel here designed to really help you understand and enjoy wine better. And in this series, I pick a wine which is readily available in the UK market, and you can taste along at home to match it to my tasting notes, which is called my full examiner's tasting notes, to hopefully score quite highly and give you the confidence in your blind tasting examination. So uh, yeah, please, if you have any comments, questions or concerns, pop them in the comments section below this video. Even if you have any certain flavors or compounds you wish to talk about, please make sure you also click like and subscribe whilst you're there. So I'm gonna go through my full tasting notes. Please pause it and mark your paper, your wine, your wine at home as I go along. And if you are socially media inclined, please do get in touch by any of the social media at the bottom of every slide. Now this is a full examiner's notes on Czechy. Uh, so it's Czechy m and Classic. So this Czechy makes this for Marks and Spencers, which is a multiple grocer, a supermarket here in the United Kingdom. This is their Chianti Reserva. It is made from Sangiovese. It is from Chianti in Tuscany and that's in Italy. It's a 2018 vintage, and it's at 13.5% alcohol and about eight pounds only from Marks and Spencers. Tasted December 2021. So let's go through the appearance to begin with. Now, Sangiovese can have some good color, but normally it's deeper when other varieties like Colorino or Merlot are added to it, but this isn't. Uh, with anything added. So we have a medium intensity and it shows a bit of age. Uh, it's towards that kind of garnet. So it was probably ru ruby red when it was made, but with a little bit of oak and a little bit of age, it's gone to this medium garnet. Okay, so that's where your marks lie for the appearance, just those two marks. Nothing for clarity or other observations in terms of points scored. Now, the nose I split into two areas. This slide is two out of the seven available marks, and the next slide is the remaining five out of the seven for the nose. So this is just for intensity and development. Now, I got quite a nice intensity from this. It wasn't sort of super powerful, but medium plus intensity is where the mark is allocated. And this has a developing development. And that is because it is showing some tertiary, at least one. And I'll get to that onto the next slide. So that's two out of the seven marks, leading, uh, leaving these five marks. So as we know, the nose aromas and the, uh, the, uh, the palate flavors are split into primary, secondary, and tertiary. When a wine is split across these three, um, we mark it as follows. So the five marks are allocated for one for primary, one for secondary, one for tertiary. That adds to three, and that means there's two remaining marks for anything off this slide. Okay, so one for primary, one for secondary, one for tertiary, two for anything from those three categories. So one mark, first of all, from anything like rose, Red cherry, beautiful bright cherry, but this wine has darker concentration as well. Black cherries, black currant, black currant, uh, blackberry and bramble. Bit of lavender, bit of black pepper, licorice, and cinnamon spice seems to be quite dominant here as well. There is vanilla, clove, cedar, charred wood smoke, and even a hint of chocolate coming through the oak characteristics. So that's from uh, from really post-fermentation winemaking. And then we have the aromas through maturation, the tertiaries, where there is a bit of leathery, forest floor, wet leaves and tobacco. A really important thing is when you've identified the colour being garnet or even tawny, you must be looking for something tertiary. That colour change will indicate to you, the taster, that there should be some tertiary, not always, but there should be. Okay, so one mark out of primary, one mark for secondary, one mark for any of those tertiaries, and two for anything from this slide. That totals five, 
and that really uh, creates a seven marks for the nose. The palette is split into 10 marks for a red wine, seven here on the characteristics and three for the flavors. So this is dry, typical red wine, high in acidity with medium plus or high tannin. Uh, so quite, quite structured, medium alcohol just, uh, body medium to medium plus. Remember, I can put ranges. You can't. You must only select one thing per line. Medium plus flavor intensity, but it falls away. It doesn't have the greatest of length towards a medium with its length. OK, so that's seven marks. That leaves us with three marks for the palette. One mark for primary, one mark for secondary, one mark for tertiary. If you've only put primary, the maximum you'll get here on this slide is just one. You really need to be hitting primary, secondary, and tertiary. These are the same flavors, aromas as the nose. So please pause this and mark that accordingly. Welcome back. So the conclusions for two marks is on the quality. Uh, so here we have good balance. Uh, I don't think it has decent length. It's only medium. Uh, complexity, there should be a mark here, really, because if we go back to this, that's fairly complex. So I'm actually going to change this and I'm going to put in that this has complexity. Sorry, for, re for some reason that's not here. So let's put the yes down here. There we are. So, and I'll, and I'll also get the little green uh, box away here. So it hasn't been updated. There you are. And then let's, we're going to say that this is a very good wine, therefore. Okay, that's because we have identified. Uh, here we go. I'm, I'm going to just do it. Uh, I'll underline very good here. So we are looking actually at very good. But this has potential for aging because it has still primary, still has tannin and acidity. So it's can drink now, but has potential for aging. So it's very good and has uh, potential for aging. Okay, so <clears throat> the total is out of uh, 21. Uh, oh, ignore the, uh, the the wine there. That's the wrong wine as well. It looks like this, this tasting note hasn't been updated at the end, which is very strange. Uh, so, of course, we are talking about the Chianti Reserva. Uh, 21 marks here is the total marks, and 12 would be a pass, 14 would be merit, and 17 would be a distinction. So please pop them in the comments to see what you got, if you want to share that information, and if you've got any other comments, questions, theories, or concerns. Um, you can also use the social media, and if you do find yourself in London, it would be lovely to see you. Please do come to one of my establishments for a class, glass, or bottle. Thank you very much. Until next time, goodbye.